hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Global Training Center and today we're going to discuss about the topic LMT and MAE Base Commissioning Mode Part 8. Configuring the FTP Server Info. So, FTP Server is important because in order, to, for, in order for us to transfer the software, the configuration and even the license, we have to connect with an FTP Server. So, we have with the laptop that we use become the server and our client will be the UMPT card, the base station itself. So, the software data configuration and license will be downloaded to the eNodeB by using the server. So, this FTP server needs to be downloaded and configured in advance. So, you can directly download from the system. They have their own uh, password, original password, hwbs.com. So, later on, you can change it to your own password. And usually, the username is standard. So, the username we will use admin. So, this is the first step that needs to be done before the overall commissioning takes place. We have to do, we have to do the preparation first. So, this is actually part of the preparation. So, we have to install the FTP server download and install it first. FileZilla is also another example which is recommended but we have to see whether that particular base station the umpt can be supported by the filezilla or not because there are some version will be having difficulty with the filezilla so we have to see the compatibility of the umpt card itself some umpt version is compatible with the sftp server okay we have sftp server the old one and some are compatible with filezilla so, we have to see which is more suitable based on the version type. So, that one depends on the UMPT itself. So, load the related files. So, usually the standard, the standard information that we will be loading is eNodeB software, data configuration file, which is in XML format, and also commissioning license. So, this will be under the software management in your web LMT. So, you, you will notice that we have to configure with the FTP server. This configuration is based on the settings from your laptop. So, the username, admin, password. Let's assume that this is the standard one. And usually, the server IP will be your laptop or PC IP. So, you will download the version software. So, you need to download the software first. Yes, delay download. To reduce the time so we don't want to spend more time for the commissioning process to download so in order to reduce the time we will set yes delay download so download the configuration file the one that you have already saved earlier activate and activate the software so you have to remember that when the software is downloaded and and already activated you will only have the limited lmt package so it will take about four hours to become complete so, for the first stage, it will be limited. So, let's assume after 4 hours, you see that the message is still limited. You can actually use the command SPL software to make it a complete package. So, the time frame is 4 hours. So, SPL software will make the package to become a complete package. So, software storage. So, we have two types of software storage. So, when you download all right, when you download and when you activate. So, where is the storage? So, we have active and standby area. So, this is the main area, software A. So, this is the standby area. So, when you download, it will be <coughs> downloaded at the... So, when you want to download, it will be in the standby area. So, when you activate, it will be in the main area. So, the moment you download, let's assume that main area, you are running with R17. Now, your target is R18. So, when you download, it will be R18 at the standby area. So, the moment you activate, so the moment you activate the software, the R17 will switch to R18 in the main area. So, this will only take place once you activate the software. So, when you download, it is always in the standby area. So, this is something good whereby it will not interrupt the current ongoing services. But when you activate, it has to reset the base station. 
already. So upon this activity, the base station will be automatically reset. Handling E node B alarms on the LMT. So basically, there is a parameter on browsing the alarm. So you can view the alarm type and we see what how you can actually sort it out. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting also takes place here and the analysis of the alarm also can be handled using the LMT. Service related alarm, environmental related alarm is also included here. And querying the running status is to check the some of the functions, self-test. We call it as a self-test function to check the version of the current eNodeP software, running status of the cell. So it's like a quick check, alarm and RRU running status. This is similar to the any health check also. So roughly we will know what is the status of the particular eNodeP and we can rectify the problem immediately. So we also need to perform some service tests because this is also very important in order to ensure when the commissioning is completed, the service test is done and confirm that everything is working per normal. So this is similar to what we have discussed in earlier sessions. So we have to use the browser, perform it a certain number of time and make sure that there is no difficulty in browsing. FTP server, we have to try to upload and download the file and make sure the rates, the download rates and upload rates are stable and try to make a call and make sure there is no drop call and there is no noisy or having some quality or issues, voice quality issues. So the standard is exactly the same as for the previous uh, commissioning types as well. So just ensure the services are up. So remote operations, what does the remote engineer need to do? So they monitor the commissioning task and they will get the report. So they will monitor the commissioning task, they will get the verification rep report and they will confirm the auto deployment task is complete. They also will do the setting of the output power if it's needed because this is not something mandatory. This is optional if you think that it's impacting the service, especially the cell power, cell transmit power is impacted, the service will be impacted. So you might need to do some adjustment on the RF module. If not, you can just leave it. It's not a mandatory uh, portion over here. So this operation is performed only when required by local regulation department. So that's why I mentioned earlier, it is upon special requests. Then everything is fine. The remote engineer will set back the NE to normal after the commissioning process completed. Local and remote cooperation. So what do they do together? They do the testing of installation deployment quality, perform site verification, handle the alarm, check the environmental alarm settings, check the any health. So basically, this is what they do. So they, they will ensure that all this activity or tasks shared between them. It can be site level, it can be remote level as well. So they can do they can uh, do it on site using an LMT, or they can use the MAE access. Quiz time. So in the software management module, the main area is used to store the downloaded version software. This is true or false? Yes or no? No. Basically, it's not the main area. It should be a standby area. The second question. Alarms can be managed and operated using the LMT. This is yes or no? Yes. This is a true statement. So the summary of this content about LMT and MEE based commissioning mode is that we have learned about local operation, how to configure the FTP server, local operation of loading commissioning file, local operation of how to handle the alarm, check uh, the self-check status and service verification, remote operation and local and remote cooperation. That's all from me. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the session. Bye.